I'm testing these lens guard for the Ricoh Theta X. Although the box says it's for the older models, I've heard that it does work with the Ricoh Theta X. I'm going to apply the lens guards to the Ricoh Theta X lenses and take some pictures. Bought the kit for about $16 on Amazon and it comes with this extra lens protector as well as the lens guard so that white silicon wristband looking thing it actually goes around the camera the blue circular ones are it's like a double-sided sticky tape that you use to actually put the lens guard onto the camera so those also comes with an instruction manual and those white with the recycle uh, package on it those are actually the lens guard and you can see they're kind of bubble shapes I have it in my hand now the blue portion is just the sticky tape the light blue film is just to protect the sticky tape so what you do is you use that blue tab you peel it off and you apply it onto it there's instructions in English and Japanese it does say that it's for the Rico, and the lens size does appear to be the same. Also it came with this pretty nice silicon band. And this provides some additional protection for the lens guard. And then what I do is I actually stick the Theta X into a hard case. To make sure there's no aberrations on the lens from use, I'm going to use a brand new Ricoh Theta X camera for this test. It's never been used. Uh, I'm actually going to upgrade the firmware. Um, the camera has never taken a single picture before, so everything should be the best possible conditions for the test. There's no dirt on the lenses or oil, and I did manage to easily apply it so I did one first off camera. It does stick out a bit and we will get to see the pictures. So I'll go through the process on camera so you can see what it's like. So you just line it up, you kind of eyeball it, you take off that blue film and you try to line it up so that it's as good a fit as you can get it right there. And then press it down slightly on the edges. And it stayed put. I was going into this test thinking, oh, well, maybe I'll, it's going to fall off. But the sticky tape is actually pretty good. That blue thing is if you do want to detach it, uh, it's not made to be taken off and put on constantly. But you can change the lens or take it off if you want to. I never used this type of silicon lens cap before. And I actually like it. Some of my friends had it. So I'm placing the camera outside. This is a tough shot. There's not uniform lighting for it. We have shadow on one side. I'm using HDR, 11K. Basically default settings except for the HDR and 11K. Using Windows 11, the official Ricoh Theta Viewer on the desktop to evaluate the image. Surprisingly good. Uh, I believe that might be dust or a little bit of uh, glare on the lens there. The It's raining, so that might be possibly a, a rain droplet. However, you can see the stitching is surprisingly good. And f I think for the purpose of inspection, this would be quite adequate. Again, a little bit tougher shot because of the non-uniform lighting here, with light only coming in from one side. Here's the second shot with the light. It's outside fully, so a little bit easier. Unfortunately, it's raining, and I got water droplets on the lens. So let's check it out, and the results are quite good. It's more uniform lighting. Unfortunately, I forgot to wipe the lens guard, so those droplets are actually water droplets because there's a slight rain right now. You can check out this
property here from the outside. It's more uniform lighting. So it actually does, in my opinion, looks a bit better with the detail. It's looking good, very usable. And the final shot is kind of an outdoor shed, maybe like a construction site simulation with a bunch of gear for uh, construction or gardening around. Results were quite good again, although there was some remnants of the water droplets. So I might go down and take some additional shots in the future. But as you can see here, if you're using the Ricoh Theta X, 11K HDR with, um, for inspection purposes, this thing is fantastic. Uh, it can detect no stitching lines with the lens guard on it. You can check out the condition of the property. Like for example, you know, if it's under construction, see the what stage is at. I think even if you were to use uh, AI detection on the various pieces in it, it is highly visible. Of course, there is some loss of resolution. It is a little bit fuzzier. However, you can see for yourself that it is quite usable in three different type of shots. And let me know what you think.